going on here then? Oh wait, is there something up there? I think there is. Yep. How does, how does one... Oh wait, I can climb up. Uh, but not that wall. Okay. And not this one either. And not this one, damn it. There must be a wall I can climb. Wall climbing is a mechanic in this game. Is there a ladder? Yes. No scrap? Okay. We do this. No schmuck. Oh, damn it. Wait, can I get there? Yes, I can. It's gonna take a bit of time to, uh... Okay. I get what it wants me to do now. Okay, can I maybe get a bit more extra lift? Fuck. Get to the very top. Okay, turn around, turn around, alright, please, 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 there we go, I did it all for the 20, come on, the 20, worth it. Where's my scrap at? Where's my scrap? Fucking hell. Not even scrap. This, this place definitely has a feeling of you're not supposed to be here yet. So... I think I'ma just head out. I'ma I'm, I'm catch you later, dog. Is there something I'm missing? Some scrap for me, thank you very much. I do like me some scrap. That clunk that I made was very fucking loud. That was the door that we went through? Yeah. Went over there before. What time's now? Eleven and nine. Okay, and I don't like how the the quests they sometimes um deactivate. That's very annoying. All right, we're on our way. Misery to happiness today. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Something? No, just a flat rock. Gather glowworms. All right. This looks like a different area. Just checking to see what happened. This is a new biome area, I guess, you could say. Ah, okay. Okay, I do want... There we go. Gimme! 
Forgive me? Okay. Just a pretty landmark right there. Oh. You're not a pretty landmark though. Crystal butterfly. Okay. Okay. Maybe I've been here? What's your name? She has a voice like gravel. I tell my lamb she extends a hand of green. Zara, what are you looking for? Where can I find me some glow worms? Don't know, I'm afraid. The innkeeper might know. Sick. Alright. There's some of the different hover bikes you can get. Sick. doesn't want to cooperate. Well, fuck you too, bike. Well, fuck you too. Oh, is that a post box? Yep. Zero. A delivery... Uh, out in Hakoa. Brilliant. This is the last time I agree to this. Fumes scratching at your eyes. The humidity is unbearable. All this while slugging a heavy bag across this terrain. Rohana's mask. I wish I had a hover bike. We're not getting mine. This is a fee? Innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Have you got time to help me with something? No, I can, I can get some glow ones yet? Yes, yes, absolutely. I do. There's a cave far to the south of here, just packed with the sinister the creeps. I hate them. They're just uh, awful. But unfortunately, they're of, some, they're of use sometimes, so I've become quite practiced at catching them. Absolutely not, but I can advise. You need to get them down from where they nest on the roof of the cave. To do that, look for the sulfurous rocks lying around nearby. Sulfurous rocks get them wet. They will start smoking. And then, okay, so I'll need our water. What do you need? Slice of beetle poo. So there's a lot of um, fetch quests in this game. You want to get the poo? Beetle poo. No, they say flower power beetle poo. A classic. One of my favorites. The slice of beetles are fairly docile, but if you're going to get the poo out of them, you need to give them a fright. So you, you'll need to scare the shit out of them. Okay. Literally. Jumping on their back usually does the job. But it takes some doing to get them to stand still. I'm not sure if you'll figure... I'm sure you'll figure it out. And don't worry, it's not cruel. It's not cruel. I briefly... I think briefly about what I would call it if someone stood on my back and frightened me into defecation. Or, well, it doesn't hurt them. They're made of strong stuff. And they'll get over it. We've all been there, eh? Three pellets. Okay, so we just need to abuse some, uh, some insects. Insect abuse. Insects are not animals. And it's a uh, car blanche to abuse them. It's okay. Hop on their back. Squeeze out the poo. What could possibly go wrong? Got another crystal butterfly. Give me that shit. I couldn't grab while in midair. The music does get a bit glitchy. Hmm. 
other person I can speak to? The pathing of the, um, the bike is fucking dog poo. Back to the machinists to see what they've got. Maybe they've got another quest. This is where we left the bike, but the bike's gone off somewhere. Someone tell you we were giving those away. If you want a badge, I need to know you're someone who can earn a badge. You've come to the right place. I can feel the smoke. She isn't mocking though, only entertained. Do you think twice? I like that. You have been to the Crystal Plateau? Nope. Well, I won't spoil the surprise. Take a ride out of there and harvest some lightning crystals. You get me three of them, you get a badge. And get. And I get to finish the parts I'm working on. Hey. Before you go, you've done this before? Why, what, what should I know? It's a dangerous job. We try it yourself. Speak to. Pota, he's the leader of the Crystal Farmers. Man of experience and a friend. You'll find him at the base of the plateau, southwest of here. Make for the lining, you can't miss it. Sick. jump off in this direction and hopefully the bike is down there and there goes my hero da -da 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 -da. boom all right where's the bike should show up soon There you are. I wonder if that bike loaded in. If it did, I'm not mad. I'm just, you know, I'm curious. I'm not getting up there. Oh wait, he's still over this way. Okay. Okay. So this is the Crystal Valley that Jaddy was talking about. Get up there, bit. There we go. I will say that um, the colors, um, while distinct, they're not really bright. Maybe that might irk some people. I might rub them the wrong way. Hmm. Mr. Neve, if you believe. Wait, 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 are those collectibles down there? I can't see any careers. How far away? Oh, okay. They look like collectibles. Nothing? Alright. How far away am I? 
Oh, you deactivated again? Really? Oh no, he didn't. Okay. Oh, it's having a struggle. Had a big time struggle. I'm getting closer. Doesn't feel like it. Feels like a lot of fetch missions. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. Like, it's like, give, give me story, please. Seemingly we're here. Yeah, we're right on top of him. Alright. Seems to be it. Is there a way to get that up there easily? Of course not. I like the um, exploration aspect of it in parts. It's like a... Uh, it does break up the monotony in, in ways. is immense and they move with such calm that I cannot help but ascribe some higher knowledge to them or see the wisdom of age and the curves of their backs but then I remind myself my reading my reading is informed by the markers I see among my own people the short hands of a culture and these farmers are in no way beholden to my interpretation whatever so like basically it's like don't inflict your colonial uh, viewpoint onto us. Like, we're not weird, we're just different. I wonder what they make of me. Greetings. Greetings, Gladder. I am called Toha, and you are? I expect his voice to emerge as a rasp, and instead it spills like silk from behind its from behind his crystalline mask. There is a purity to the sound of him. Every word reaches me as cleanly as a whisper in the ear. I speak slightly louder than normal to ensure I am heard up there. I tell him my name is Sable and that Zara sent me to collect crystals, but I but advise that I speak to him first. 
There are no eyes on the crystal he wears, but he lights up at the mention of her name and still and I still know where to look. How pleasing to hear that she is well. It has been weeks, if not months, since I have seen dear Zara. Tell me, Disable, are you on your way to becoming a machinist? Considering it? I tell him I'm considering it and he nods. The light catches his mask and he glints with every movement. If you do decide to scale that peak, there are a few better mentors than Zara. Now then, how may I help you? I've never met a crystal farmer before. I tell Tota that he is the first crystal farmer I have ever met, and add that I hope it isn't rude of me to mention. He shifts his weight and the crystal on his back moves lazily with him. Oh, we must look very odd to you. A little. I admit they do look a little odd to me, but add that that isn't a bad thing. I ask him if I look odd to him. You don't, which is partially because I have met others like you, but also because we are the different ones. I offer that we are both different, and somehow I swear he smiles. I'm not sure that's something we decide. Anything else I can do for you? What's this place? Toto raises one of his walking sticks up and points its skyward to gesture to the crystal plateau. Leaning at an angle that speaks to some impress impressive strength. We built it. It was made to draw lightning storms away from the rest of Pakoa and concentrate them on that peak. As it happened, a side effect of that concentration was the formation of lightning crystals charged with electricity. Makes a circle in the air. Isn't that a wonder? We turned a bane into a boon and a boon into a culture. All the chemicals and coincidences that conspired to create the crystal farmers. I nod in agreement and suddenly this place I thought a factory feels more like a place of worship. Anything else I can do for you? What are those big robots? Those are the reasons my shoulders are complaining and my knees are grinding to dust. They used to harvest our lightning crystals, but now we must do it ourselves, and it's not easy work. That's uh, so what happened, and they stopped all at once. One day, after a storm that seemed otherwise entirely normal, they all simply stopped. Some fell over, some others stayed up, but none of them ever moved again. In sympathy, I say that must have felt a terrible omen. That must have felt like a terrible omen. He shakes his head, and it's the quickest I've seen him move. Oh, nothing like that, no. There is some explanation in the mechanics of the chemistry, even if we don't know it. And in that, at least, we take great comfort. I nod, and I think in some way I understand it better. <laughs> How do I harvest crystals? I tell Toto that I was sent to wake lightning crystals and ask first if I'm allowed to do that, and second, how I might go about it. You're welcome to try. If anyone but Zara had sent you, I would consider talking you out of it, Sable. But she knows people, so I'll simply tell you. Tota nods up at the plateau. Watch and wait for lightning to strike one of the obelisks. When it does, you'll see crystals begin to form on its surface. You'll need to pick up onto you'll need to climb up onto the obelisk and break off what you can of the lightning crystals. You'll need to be quick about it though and get them before they shatter. Not that I think you'll have much trouble, you have a certain quickness. I thank you for the vote of confidence. Anything else? No, we good. Alright. Oh. Coin Merchant Payment. Hmm. Ooh. Nice, now I'm Sasuke. I am Uchiha Sasuke. Barely. 
Hmm. Oh. Uh, how can I get there? Uh... You know what? That's not gonna. It's not gonna do it. I'm not gonna cut it. There is a storm though. Do I need to get even further up though? Is there a way to... There is kind of on there. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. Get them landing crystals. So many fetch missions, fuck's sake. Oh, that's giant. Ooh. Uh, I don't want to be blocked by the hand. Oh, will I make it? Will I make it? Will I make it? Will I make it? Shit. Oh, I don't think this makes it either. No. Oh, for the piglet. Okay. Maybe over there first. Yes, more like it. Here, boys. This looks kind of cool. Hmm. Okay, so. Just seeing if there's anything I should be collecting, there probably is. There's probably a whole bunch of stuff to collect here. Yep, there. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> 